Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabub.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. It appears that our internet is having a few hiccups tonight. So, first of all, I apologize for being a little late. I was having some technical difficulties and then my live feed got cut off. So, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's happening tonight. I hope it's not an indication of how this evening is going to go. But I see lots of people popping in here. I am so happy to see you guys. Oh, thank you for your patience, first of all. Technology is hasn't been my friend lately. So I'm glad you guys are persevering, right? Yay! It is a very rainy and um, kind of a not a very nice day here in Menasha, Wisconsin. Um, it's been raining all day long. And it's supposed to rain all day long tomorrow. And you guys, look at, I have my fall shirt on because it feels like fall, like overnight it's fall. It could snow at any minute. It's not in the forecast, don't worry, but it could. This is Wisconsin, it can snow at any time during any day of the year. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so glad to be back. I was off last week for Labor Day weekend. Um, Steve and I went up to South Park on Saturday. Thanks, Elaine, for coming back. Yeah, it cut me off. It just shut me down. I don't know why. Anyway, Steve and I went to South Park for um, the weekend and had, I had a very nice relaxing time. My mom and I went to the flea market and that was pretty fun. I found some what do they call those? Morel. Is that what it is? Morel shoes for Dawson. They were only like this big. They were so cute and they were only $6. So I bought those and, and a little cribbage board for Haley. That was all I found. Everything else was kind of just junk or things I didn't need. Oh, I did buy a couple things. I have one of those Lazy Susans that's like wooden. So it's got a, a a tray on the bottom and a tray up above and so I bought a uh, Christmas and a fall little little cup that looks like it has whipped cream in the top with some cute straws and things in it to decorate my little lazy Susan things so I did get a couple other things but it was fun and me and my mom went for ice cream yeah it was delicious um so it was nice to have the weekend off thank you guys so much for you guys are all like, have a good time. And I'm like, oh, thank you so much. We still have mice in our camper. Yeah, I'm really tired of washing everything when I go there. So this time I washed all the silverware. We have two drawers, you know, silverware and then all the utensils like the pancake flipper and the spatula and stuff like that. And um, I have to wash those every time. I don't understand what the attraction is for mice in a silverware drawer. Like, why? There's no food in there. There is absolutely nothing in there that should entice them, but yet they have to get in there and make a big mess, right? So anyways, this time I took all of the silverware and all of the other utensils out of each drawer and put them in a Rubbermaid bin. So the next time, if there's any more mice, all I have to do is wipe out the drawer. Gross. And um, yeah, so I, Steve set the trap. He does this bucket with antifreeze in it so that the whole camper won't stink if a mouse is dead in there until we get there next time. And um, he set that all up, so I'm hoping he gets it. Urgh, they're killing me. And then we found that there is a water leak in our other camper because I have an old camper. Yeah, I know about this steel wool, and we're going to have to do that. But the mice are already living in the camper. I don't think there are more mice coming in. I think we just haven't gotten them out yet. So... And then there's a leak in our other camper, so it's been raining here all day. And so I asked my mom if she would go check, because that camper's at her house. And she said there was no water in it, but it only rained like a quarter inch there today. So I hope we got that fixed, because it did some damage. And I'm pretty sad, because I like my old little camper. <laughs> Anyways, um, it was really nice being off, so thank you for that. And um, did you guys see that Molly got braces? Ah! Yeah, pretty cool. Molly got braces, so she's on the, in the works getting her teeth straightened out. They said she's going to need to wear them for probably two years. 
and the other day they um, couldn't get a, her mom was in a meeting couldn't get a hold of her so they called me and I had to take her some ibuprofen and a chocolate shake so I was glad I could do that um what else Steve just got back from Michigan he goes up there every um year in September for a golf tournament with some golf guys and um I can tell you that he did not win and I'm really disgusted because, you know, I told him all those golf lessons with those golf pros that I have given you, and you can't win a golf tournament. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't give him any golf lessons. <laughs> but he, he lost. And uh, <laughs> he did not bring home any money. So he's never brought home money. <laughs> I just tease him all the time. I tease him about it all the time. Every time he goes golfing. I go, bring home the money. And he's like, Kelly, there's no money. <laughs> ah, girl can keep trying, right? So anyways, he had a really good time. And I see lots of different ideas popping up for the mice. And um, actually, my sister gave me some peppermint and told me to put that on Q-tips all over the place because mice hate peppermint. So um, I'm going to try that and see what happens. I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow. It's been, it's been horrible, but actually now yesterday and today it looks pretty decent. So isn't that the way it always goes? Like you're, you're like, you've had it with your hair and you're going to get something done with it and then it starts looking decent. <laughs> I know, it was all fuzzy. It was just so fuzzy. I'm like, I don't know why my hair is so fuzzy, but yeah, now it's not. So, <laughs> oh yeah, anyways. um. Valerie is potty trained. So, so exciting. I saw somebody said they were watching the wrong video. I know, I'm really sorry, Linda. Um, my, uh, my other video that I started, I, I was late because I couldn't get it to work. And then once I got on, it cut me off. Um, it just like shut the video down, so I had to start over. So I'm sorry that you were watching the wrong video. Um, I did delete the other one, so I, I hope it's gone. <laughs> Anyways, um, Valerie is completely potty trained. We are so excited. And every time she goes to the potty, I like make the biggest deal about it. Like I pick her up and hug her and kiss her all over and we go on. It's really funny. Hi, Bruno. I'm happy to see you here. You'll learn all about my granddaughter's potty training if you stick with us long enough. Anyway, she's got her bluey panties, you know, the little dog. It's a cartoon that the kids like right now. Um, yeah, she's, she'll, show in, she'll show them to anybody, too. So, <laughs> um, what else? Before I forget, I want to make sure you guys know that next weekend, um, Haley and I and the babies and my mom are headed way up north in northern Wisconsin. We're going to be bear hunting. And we are almost always home on Sunday night in time for Facebook Live. But if something happens that we don't get done hunting, because you can't predict what's gonna happen on any given day, if something happens that we don't get done hunting and get back in time, I will post a note on here to let you guys know what's going on, okay? So on my Facebook group, I will tell you what is happening with um, my schedule, if it's going to be delayed, okay? So, there we go. <laughs> Somebody said that I started talking about celebration and knew that it was wrong. Yeah, you're right. So I'm glad you noticed that. I'm glad you're here with us live tonight. Um, what else? I have my schedule this week. We have a team meeting. If you're on my team, we have a team meeting Tuesday night. I'm excited about that. We are going to be doing mystery stamping. We have a um, guest demonstrator that is going to demonstrate a really cool card for us. And um, we'll also be doing show and tell, which oh, I love to see what everybody's making. So that's like one of my funnest, funnest um, times at, on, my, on my team meeting. So I'm excited about that. And then Wednesday night, if you haven't registered for bingo and card class, you can still do that. We are going to be using, hang on the um, 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 Witch's Hat Builder Punch and the Bewitching Stamp Set. This is a bundle. We're going to be using those two for our make and takes, as well as the Glad We're Friends with these cute little animals. And 
fall is upon us with the Hello Harvest bundle. So we're going to be making cards with those. Um, it is $35 to take the class, to register for the class. You will get five make and takes pre-cut. And also, you're going to get a pack of the beautiful glitter washi tape. I love this stuff. And a package of the um, leaf label and amber gems, as well as some of the Gingham Cottage Designer Series paper. That's what we're going to be creating the make and takes with. So I'm excited to be doing that. That's Wednesday night. Um, if you didn't sign up yet and you want to, you're going to find the registration link in my online classes, which is the right column of my blog. So just scroll down in the right column and look for online classes. You'll be able to register for that. Then um, my trees for sale class. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. I've had a really good response to that. It's pre-order time right now. So that class is going to use the trees for sale. Oops, trees for sale stamp set as well as the tree lot dies. And I had some people that were asking, well, these were celebration and celebration is over. I used some of my celebration rewards to get some extras of these dies. So if you do not have the dies, um, you will be able to get them when you choose to add on the stamp set and the dies to your registration for this class. Also able to add on the Whimsical Woodland 3D embossing folder if you don't have that or we're going to be using it or you could use something similar. And um, with those, with that make and take packet, we make four different cards, two of each. And um, I just saw somebody, I don't know what you just said, but it was funny. <laughs> um for a total of eight cards, we're going to be using the Bows of Holly Designer Series paper. This is gorgeous. So everybody will get this paper. You'll get this beautiful woven ribbon. You'll also get the iridescent basic pearl jewels and a wink of Stella with your card pack with eight cards pre-cut. So super exciting. Um, so if you are interested in signing up for that, you're going to find it in the same place on my blog in that right hand column under online classes. The kit itself, which comes with all the stuff I just showed you, except for the embossing folder and the bundle, um, is $56. And then you can add the bundle on and the folder, either or or both. Um, so all of that information is on my blog. I want to tell you about one more thing. I'm so excited about this. So the class that I do with Dina and Barb this month in September is going to use the Hippest Hippos. <laughs> it's also going to use the Hippo Dyes. And again, um, I use my celebration benefits to order some extras of these, but I know lots and lots of you have this whole bundle from Celebration. This is a great class for you to take. There will be six different cards using the Adorable Hippos. We're also going to be using the Fun Flowers and the New in Color Designer Series paper. You'll have the opportunity to add on the Rays of Light as well as the bundle if you didn't get it. Okay, you can, you can actually add that on. We're also going to be using the Designer Tag Dies, so you'll need these, and the In Color Baker's Twine. I love, love, love this. This class is going to be so much fun. It is a pre-order right now to um, order this class. And let's see, if you already have the products, the stamp set and the dies, then you can order the kit. The kit is $45. You're gonna get a half a pack of these resin flowers and the baker's twine, okay? If anybody has any questions about that, please let me know. But again, this is a pre-order. This will be done and going out in the mail at the end of the month. And let me see, I don't think, I think I'm done with all that. Oh, gosh, I have to show you this. It's so stinking cute, you guys. This is the Stampin' Up! Beanie. Oh my gosh, look at how cute it is. I love it. It's not too tight, but it's not gonna fall off. It is beautiful, good quality. I absolutely love it. 
Now, I wear hats when I shovel snow, when I go out with the kids to play in the snow, or when it's super cold here. So I was super excited about this hat. Yay, this is available in my store also. It's called a beanie, and you can um, find it in my online store. Now I saw Becky just asked, what is jot form? Jot form is just the form that I use for you to sign up for my classes. So I make those forms to get your name, your address, and then it has the things if you wanna add this, 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 you get to pick which options. That is jot form. It is just a service that I pay for so that I can create the forms for you to register. Now, when you register for one of my classes, Jot Forms will send you an email asking you if you want to try Jot Forms, just ignore it. They're just trying to get more business. So that's what's happening there. Let me get my crown back on. <laughs> okay, um, I have a little bit of mail to share with you, but before we do that, I wanted to give away some fabulous prizes. Please make sure you're clicking on that like. There's a thumbs up. You can click on that whether you're watching now live later on the replay on Facebook or later on the replay on um, YouTube. Give me a thumbs up. That really helps me in the analytics and I appreciate that. Now, when you leave a comment here or on um, YouTube, oh, I see all of the thumbs up coming in. Thank you guys so much. When you leave a comment on any of the places, you get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And today I have the elegant faceted gems that I'm going to be giving away to a lucky person. I drew your name. This is going out to Tracy Bazemore. You are the winner of these fantastic gems for your comment on my last Facebook Live. So thank you all very much for your comments. Congratulations, Tracy. I can't wait to get that out in the mail to you. Next up, you can um, win a prize by sharing my video. And there's some place on your screen right now where you can click on share and share this right to your profile. That helps me grow my business and I really appreciate it. Later, when you're watching on YouTube, you can also click on that share. And if you're re-watching on Facebook, you can still click on the share. And I see Kathy and Debbie shared um, thank you so much. I so appreciate it. I did a drawing and I have these ombre gift bags. These are fantastic. They're really cool for, you can put gift cards in them or small gifts to go with a matching card. I love them. Oh, Debbie says the beanie looks great on me. I love that hat. Um, this one is going out to Margaret Burkett of Bloomington, Illinois. Margaret, you're going to get some of these fantastic bags in the mail for sharing my video. And next up is placing an order. When you place an order with me, I um, enter you in the drawing and I have the beautiful special moments. This has 21 different um, sentiments in it. This is going out to Susan Guys of Boscobel, Wisconsin. Susan, this is going to be on its way to you. Congratulations. Somebody just asked me for a John update, and I actually have two things to update you on. You remember last week, if, or not last week, the last Facebook Live, you remember that right before I was ready to um, call it a night, I said that Steve, I had just flown in that day from New Orleans. <laughs> And had my Facebook Live that night, and I said that Steve had washed the sheets, and he knows that I love the fresh sheets right after they come out of the washer. But I said, as of me getting on here to do my Facebook Live, he had not um, made the bed. Like, he washed the sheets, but he didn't make the bed. And then I said, you know how sometimes guys, like, he'll go, I'm going to clean out this closet. But really all he does is take the stuff out and put it on the floor and tell, say, what do you want? What are you going to do with this? <laughs> and I'm like, that's not helpful. <laughs> I don't have time to deal with all that right now. You're not cleaning the closet. That's not how this works. So he took all the sheets and washed them, but then he hadn't made the bed yet. And I'm like, well, that's not helpful. And I told you guys that I thought he went to bed. So the big question was, did he make the bed? And I, I fully expected to walk into my bedroom and have him sleeping in the bed on the mattress pad with no sheets on the bed. 
<laughs> but he wasn't. He actually made the bed. So yay, Steve. He came through. I, I was wrong. <laughs> I immediately jumped to the conclusion on the bad side instead of the good side. So that's what that was all about. If you saw that post on my um, Facebook page where I said he made the bed, that's all I said. <laughs> that's what that was about. And then for a John report, um, John, I saw John and his wife leave the other day. She always drives when they ride together. And I think maybe um, she gets car sick. I don't know, right? Because usually that's how that goes. If, if usually, well, okay, so this may be like, whatever, sexist or whatever, but whatever, it, it is what it is. The man usually drives, right? And um, when, when they leave, she's always driving. So I figure that she probably gets car sick and people who get car sick usually don't get as car sick if they're driving. So that's what I got for you. It's boring as all get out. I have had nothing happening with John. I've seen him once and that's it. John and his wife went someplace and she was driving. How boring. <laughs> I know. Okay, last but not least, I wanted to mention to you, we have a retreat coming up. Dina Barb and I, see Lois said her daughter always drives. Dina Barb and I are hosting a retreat in October. Um, it is going to be amazing. If you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, we are also going to have a day of business training that is available to anybody but it is geared towards Stampin' Up! demonstrators and we are going to have guests. We are going to have the most fantastic training you will probably ever have. I'm not even gonna mince words there. It's gonna be fantastic. So see, Debbie always drives too. Debbie, do you drive because you get car sick? I'm just wondering, or maybe your husband is a scary driver? <laughs> Mine is a little bit. I just don't look, I am working. I'm not watching. Don't tell him I said that. Um, <laughs> who said they won't even let their husband drive? Hang on. I always drive too. Oh, she likes to be in control. Okay, well, I guess that's one thing. Um, <laughs> Flo says she won't let her husband drive her car to the end of the driveway. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> I think that's funny. Oh, Debbie says her husband doesn't want to. Oh, well, that you know, that's fine too, right? Um, I don't mind driving, but if Steve and I are going someplace together, even though he's kind of a scary driver, don't tell him I said that, but it's true. Um, I will let him drive and I then work because sitting in a car, you can get a lot of work done, right? When you can't really do anything else. So I don't know. I just think it's a good opportunity to work. Anyways, I wanted to um, have a shout out. I got some cards in the mail this week, and I think I'm going to turn my phone around now. Oh, by the way, back to the retreat. <laughs> Squirrel! Um, if you would like to join us for the retreat, everything is going to be recorded. So if you can't watch at certain times when we're going to be live or whatever, you can watch it anytime. And there's going to be a make and take packet that will be available. You can add on products that we're going to be using if you don't have them. And um, the retreat is in October. All the details are on my blog. Again, in that side column under online classes, you'll find all the information about the retreat. And if you're on my team and you haven't signed up for the retreat yet, please remember there's a place on there that says, are you on my team? I need you to click that and then choose your options. Um, I think that's about it for all of my updates. Now, Oh, what did that just say? Oh, sure. If you're, yeah, your husband's, husband's on too many meds. Well, that makes sense too. Yeah, I don't let Steve drive if he's taking painkillers. And he does sometimes because, you know, he's kind of falling apart. So I totally get that. <gasps> Debbie Spicer, happy birthday. I see Melanie's on here tonight. Melanie, I still have your flowers alive. Melanie gave me flowers when she came to visit and we went out to lunch. <laughs> Mary's husband is a truck driver. Do you know that my mom and dad were both truck drivers? So I used to go with my dad on the truck when I was younger. It was, it was fantastic. I have a special place in my heart for truck drivers. Okay, 
I am going to, let me set some of this stuff aside. This is all my class stuff and I certainly don't need this taking up space on my table while I'm trying to, oh, this is my beanie. I don't need that bag anymore. Well, I'm trying to um, make cards for you guys. So let me set this all down on the floor so I don't lose it. And I don't make a big mess out of it. Goodness gracious. Yeah, our Packers lost today. At least I think they lost. I went and took a shower. I was done with them. <laughs> they were behind the Minnesota Vikings. So congratulations to all of you in Minnesota. I think your team won. Okay. Are we ready to do some things? Are you guys ready? Connie, you're late. Oh, my gosh. You'll have to go watch the beginning. You'll get all the news. Okay. I am going to... Oh, I got to plug in, too. Hang on. I'm going to get those plugged in. You guys know what I'm eating? Ginger said they lost. The Chiefs won. Yay, Mary Lynn. I'm so happy. My dad helped um, build the Chiefs Stadium. I don't know if they have a new one now, but it's probably the old one. We used to live um, just south of Kansas City, and my dad helped build that. Uh, he worked in construction, so it's pretty cool, too. Yeah, he was a great man. <laughs> okay, 7-23. to 23, That was the score for the Packers. <sighs> was horrible to watch. Yeah, Judy says the Packers lost big time. Well, we're going to win tonight. Ah, uh, Joe, thank you so much. Joe says, I look beautiful tonight. Thank you so much. I'm sure it's the crown, right? <laughs> okay, hang tight. And we are going to put this baby over. You know what I keep forgetting to show you guys? My room up here is finished. Like the whole, I shouldn't see my room. The whole upstairs of my house is done. Boy, this looks really close, doesn't it? Like, there's not a lot of room here. Am I usually this close to you guys? Or did my thing fall down? You guys let me know. Um, anyways, I don't think I showed you. I know the Bears won, Jan. My, um, my Molly's family are big Bears fans. So, <laughs> um... The Lions almost won. Ginny, that's great news. I know they've had a struggle, right? Yeah, Debbie, I'm eating candy corn. So I have to show you this. This is the cutest thing ever. These are the little gnomes. And Mary Stroman sent this to me. She said, she, first of all, she said she was at the store and she saw candy corn and it made her think of me. So she got Got me a bag of candy corn, which you can see I have eaten most of it. Thanks, Mary. Um, and then she thought she better make a card to match. So I thought that was just hysterical. Yes. So isn't this just the cutest thing ever? Look at how cute that is. I absolutely love it. And um, I have to share with you. So this little candy corn, <laughs> Mary's probably going to hate me. Um, Mary drew this and colored it in. And she said had a huge orange smudge. She made a smudge, so she tried to turn it into a candy corn. She says, clearly I stamp because I am no artist, LOL. <laughs> I think you did great, Mary. I would have probably never known. <laughs> so I just thought this was so cute, making the um, hat on the gnome look like candy corn. Super sweet. And of course, you guys know that I love candy corn. So yeah, all right, so next, then I got to show you this, because this is really funny. This card is, I think this is from Ginger. Hang on, let me make sure. I think Ginger's on it. Yep, this is from Ginger. And she used that beautiful harvest paper. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. But she was thanking me for a kit that I sent her. And um, she sent me this. <laughs> so you guys... Candy corn is in the house. I, I showed this to Steve today and he's like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I know. <laughs> I love this. I just love it. Thank you so much, Ginger. The sweetest thing ever. Then I got this card from Kim O'Brien. Look at this. This is in the current catalog, the mini catalog, the pheasant set. And isn't this just beautiful? I love this. I love it, love it, love it. And she's thanking me for the stamp set. She won this in the Make It Monday Challenge. So for my team, every month we have a challenge where we, um, one of my one of my team members, Danny, and she does a fantastic job, she puts up a challenge for my team 
and she'll say, um, make a fall card or make a card using these colors or here's a layout, make a card. And then they post pictures on our team Facebook page and we do a drawing, Danny draws a name and that person wins whatever Danny says I'm gonna give away. And um, it was the pheasant set, so yay. And way to go on this gorgeous card, Kim. Absolutely beautiful, right? Love it. Okay, and last but not least, I have Lisa Brogan. And this is the card that Lisa sent me. Oh, I have to show you this. And she's also thanking me for a gift that she got. And um, she says to me, the notepad was a gift to me, not directed at you, but not going to lie, it's rather funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lisa, I just, I laughed and laughed and giggled. Oh, and by the way, Ginger, I squealed when I pulled this out of there because I thought it was so funny, as well as Mary's candy corn too. So you guys had me giggling. Um, but isn't this beautiful? Look at how gorgeous this card is. Yeah, isn't that pretty? <sighs> Absolutely gorgeous. She's got a little bit of Wink of Stella in on these um, elements. It's so pretty. So very pretty. Anyways, I'll show you. This note says, embrace the glorious mess that you are. And that made me laugh hysterically. I can't think of anything that might be more appropriate for me. Lisa, thank you so much. I actually was laughing my butt off. Embrace the glorious mess that you are. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for the candy corn, Mary and Ginger. Thank you for the cards, um, everybody. I absolutely love them. They are gorgeous. And now I think we're ready to stamp. What do you guys think? I think it's time. Now, I am going to be sharing... Mm some perfect partner with you. Now, this promotion is for the month of September. And, um, oh, who said they wanna make that one? Mm -hmm. Flo said they wanna make that one. Yeah, I should. Denise says mix the candy corn with the dry roasted peanuts. Yeah, I really like that. And Steve has some dry roasted peanuts out in his truck, so I should grab that. <laughs> I don't know what you guys had for supper tonight, but Steve made um, steak shish kebabs, big chunks of steak with onions and green peppers and red peppers. And he did it on the grill. Oh my good Lord, so delicious. I see Patricia Flanagan doesn't like candy corn and neither does Dawn. And I don't even know if we can be friends anymore. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know people either love it or they hate it. Remember this, I love you more than candy corn. I didn't give this to anybody. I'm kind of selfish. I like it and it's sitting right there because I think it's really cute. Okay, back to work. <laughs> Perfect partners, this is a promotion for the month of September or while supplies last. We have six different stamp sets that have been available. And now Stampin' Up! made some dyes to go with them. So, oh, I see garlic cheese bread, lasagna, spaghetti, <gasps> chicken. Oh, you guys are killing me. Well, I had those shish kebabs and um, they were dynamite. Steve did an outstanding job. I told him next time more onions because I love them. And Lynn loves the candy corn. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so we have the fresh cut flowers, the apple harvest. The Playful Piggy, the um, tree trimming dies, the waterfall dies, and the Yeti dies. And I have to tell you something funny. When I was getting ready for this class tonight, I wanted to make a Yeti card. And I have my Yeti dies. I know exactly where they are. They're right here. And guess what? I thought I had the stamp set, but it was one that I was going to hold off on because it was more towards Christmas. And so I didn't order it. But I thought I did. So there you go. That teaches me a lesson that when I have a wish list and I don't order all the things on my wish list, then mistakes are made. And next time I need to just cut out that nonsense and just order all the things on the wish list. <laughs> that was my lesson I learned. <laughs> so anyways, um, if you guys watch my blog, you will see 
Oh, here it is. Let me grab this. This is the Apple Harvest stamp set that's in the mini catalog. <gasps> and here are the dies. These are the Apple Blossom dies. And I took them and I stamped the images that have an outline stamp, the flowers and the apples, and then um, all of these other images or uh, elements are in this set of dies. There are 25 dies in here. And it is apple season, just saying. So, beautiful, beautiful set of dies. Goes with the apple harvest. And then, where did my card go? Did I put it up here? Oh, hang on. Things are falling. Here it is. Whew. This was the card that I made. So, these are the flowers. And then you have the little insides. And here's a little branch right there. Here's the apple. I've got another one right here that I made that I watercolored on watercolor paper. I used the scallop edge right here, and then I used that Timber 3D embossing folder. And there's my beautiful apple card. So there you have it. This is, again, available until the end of September or while supplies last. And let me put that back now so I don't lose it. I decided, since I didn't have those Yetis, right? But I do have some of the other dies. We're gonna do this birthday piggy. Oh my gosh, this was so fun. So we've got 18 different design elements in here. And these are the stamps that are in the stamp set, okay? And so you've got your outline dies. And then we've got a little, um, what did you, what do you guys call these? A handkerchief for around his neck, a bird, a little leaf thing. Don't forget this little tiny butterfly. And then we've got a banner and some grass and we have some confetti that you can either lay on your card front and cut out the holes or you can put it on some um, adhesive paper and use it like this. I don't recommend this way. <laughs> Because it was, it was pretty painful, I'm not going to lie. Um, we have these flowers. We've got a present with a bow and a banner. We've got a wagon and then a wagon um, handle and some wheels for our wagon. So I had an absolute blast doing this. I found a card on that one of our artisans had made with some other stamp set. I don't even remember which stamp set. It was totally different. But the design of the card is what I took away from their design and used this piggy set. Now, I've got this, I, I, I made three different cards, but they're all the same, but they're different. Three, the same, but different. We're gonna be using the iridescent, um, ju uh, what are these called? Iridescent jewels? Iridescent rhinestone basic, basic jewels. I was close. Okay. We're going to be using some blends. A little bit of Wink of Stella. Memento black ink. I am using the biggest wish for the inside of my card. Because there are sentiments on here, but I wanted something for the inside. So, I'm going to be using that. And then, here's all my stamps. So, let me get all of these out here. I'll get these kind of out of the way my stamps over here so I have room to stamp and do things. Then we're going to get to work. I love my job because when I say get to work, it's like so easy, right? <laughs> it's wonderful. I love it. So I decided to use new in colors and I really do love the new in colors because I think they're bright and they're cheerful and they just make me happy. Um, I'm reading comments here. Bye, Polly. She said her daughter called and she has to, she'll watch later. Okay. Now, hang on. I'm just kind of getting things out and ready here. I don't want to lose anything because that so makes me crazy. All right, here we go. Here's all of our layers. We are going to be using the beautiful Orchid Oasis. This is our card base. This is a five and a half by eight and a half. Winita said she used the wagon with the elephant bundle for a baby shower. Aw, that's so sweet. I love it. 
yeah, you do get a ton of dyes in here. So that wagon will work for just about anything, right? Especially baby shower. That's a good one. Okay. Now, don't forget, I have a free download on my blog. This is my blog address. And um, after I get this video uploaded to YouTube and approved, and that may take a while, last week or the last time it wasn't too bad, but um, I will have a blog post that I will put that video in and release it. That has a free download of these cards tonight. All the instructions, all the colors and products that I use, as well as the dimensions and pictures. So um, Marsha wants to know what is the item number for the Apple Bundle. Well, Marsha, if you're in the online store, you can click on the Perfect Partners banner that goes across the front as soon as you log in and you will see all of these. Um, or you can just type in Apple and it'll pop up too. This one, the Apple Blossom Dyes, the item code is 160255. But when I'm on the online store, I just do a search for words and that's a lot easier than item codes. So I'm glad you asked that. All right. Then we have our envelope, and I, like I said, I decided to bring in this in color designer series paper. This is the 2022-24. So, so many beautiful patterns in all these fun, fresh, colorful colors. And I'm going to take this two and a half two and a half by six inch piece of designer series paper. And I'm going to use the polka dot side. So, well, maybe I'll use the, maybe I'll use the plaid. Let's use the plaid side on this one. So I'm going to just add a little bit of glue to my envelope flap. Our envelopes, you get 40 in a pack and they are just fantastic quality. I love them. Oh, that reminds me, this is my current host code. Um, it is a new host code. Uh, well, it was the same last week, but it's fairly new. And if you place an order with me and your order is under $150, you want to use that code. If your order is over $150, don't use the code because you're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have those rewards. But if your order is under $150... Nobody gets any rewards unless you use that code, and that's what I use to order um, door prizes and stuff like that with when you use that code. It gives me the rewards. Okay, so here's our envelope flap, and I love a matching envelope, right? Now, we are going to take two pieces of basic white. These are both four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to set this stuff aside for a minute. Um, let's see, I'm going to move this out of the way. I am going to do a little stamping with my Memento Black ink. And I want the, this little piggy says happy birthday. I just think this is so cute. So we're going to stamp that right up here. Does that look straight? It looks kind of crooked. So let's try it again. I'm going to, hang on, I'm going to put my head over a little bit better. Well, that looks crooked too. <laughs> Which way am I going here? I keep making it this way. So I'm gonna put it up just a little bit. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> okay, now let me grab another piece of white. I'll use that piece for scraps. I've got lots of these cut. Okay. Now I'm going to take my marker. I've got a black stamp and write marker. And now that I've stamped this, I just wanna put some lines on here. And this usually makes people very nervous, but it's easy and just do it. You'll love it. I'm gonna do this and I just kind of zigzag back and forth. Don't think about it too long. That'll make you crazy. Oops, I'm gonna go this way. I like to drag my hand. That seems to give me a better control so that my, my line doesn't get jiggly. But I like to just kind of do it rather quickly. 
just like that. And that's what I've done. Now, when you just look at like look at it like this, and if you do this, and I hope that you do, you're going to be like, oh, I don't know if I like that. Because that's the way I felt at first. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I like that at all. But just hang in there. And we're going to keep, um, keep going here. Because once you start decorating this up, you're going to find that your lines look just fine. I promise you. Practice a little bit. I did. And they do look just fine. Now I'm going to use my little piggy with the... Um, with the balloon and the birthday cake. Ah, oh, thank you guys so much. Thanks, Elaine and Joe and Judy. Those are your the comments I see popping up on my screen. They're all telling me, cool. Okay, this is just a scrap of white. And I'm going to stamp my cute little, my cute little piggy. Is he not adorable? Oh, I'm calling it a he. Because I can. It's my pig. Okay, now... I have um, all of my markers here. So here's what I used. Now I did a little research because I bought all of the skin tone markers when we had a promotion at Stampin' Up! for the whole pack of skin tone markers, these Stampin' Blend markers. So I honestly don't know what color this is, but this one says SU1000 on it. And it doesn't really have another color and now they're calling them different colors. So. I don't know what to tell you. If anybody knows the answer to that, like what are the names of these, I would love to know that because I think they have names now, but I bought them when they were just a whole pack. So I'll show you where they are in the catalog because I tried to find it. I looked them up trying to locate them. They're right here on page 128. And I'm pretty sure that this color that I'm using is probably the second set right here. And that would be the medium light natural tone stamp and blends. So this is where I'm getting them from. But like I said, I bought them when they were part of a promotion and mine says SU1000. So I don't know what that means. Yeah, it's kind of makes me a little crazy, right? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, back to our project. So what I'm going to do here is I've got a light and a dark and um, we're going to be die cutting this. So if you want to you can just kind of look at this. Okay, we got that color. And now we're gonna come in with this color. This color is the lighter color. And this is the SU-1000. This is light Calypso Coral, believe it or not. I found that, that I liked this color for my pig. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna kind of outline some of the elements on my little pig so that it'll look like it has some shading. I just really like that look. And with the Stampin' Blend markers, it's just so easy to do. I'm gonna color the little hoofs with the darker one. And then again, just do a little bit of shading. Then I come in with the, the lighter one, which is the SU-1000, whatever that means. And I'm gonna blend that a little bit. I just kind of like to go around any place that I don't have this around the edges. And now I'll come in with my big brush end. Now I always use the dark one first. I do my shading with the dark one and then I come in and I just keep blending this until you don't see that that um, sharp contrast between the colors of markers. And now look it, it looks like he's got like shading around there. I look like I'm such an artist, I love it. <laughs> okay, next I am going to use the, um, this is the Light Orchid Oasis. And do I have the dark here too? I thought. I had the dark. I need the dark. Dark and light. Sorry. I'm going to do that little, I don't know, thing on the balloon and that little thing on the balloon. Oh, and then we're going to color our cake. So I decided to do my cake. Tears in different colors. You could make it a chocolate cake or a strawberry cake or whatever color of cake you would like. But this is what I did.
and that looks good. I've got some yellow here from a candle flame. <clears throat> And Parakeet Party. So yesterday, me and Jared and Val and Dawson went down to my stepdaughter Stephanie's house. She lives um, about oh, an hour away. She built a brand new house. And can I just tell you, Haley said, oh my gosh, it is my Pinterest board. Her house, everything in her house is Haley's Pinterest board. It was just incredibly beautiful. Absolutely loved it. Okay. Oh, I didn't go back with this. So I did the dark Orchid Oasis on here. Now I'm going to do the light, right? Let me make sure. Yep. So um, Stephanie had a big party yesterday and we all got to see her house and it's just incredible. <gasps> so, so pretty. So big. So pretty. Love it. Okay. There we go. All right. I think we got it. Now, there's a die to cut this out. And I'm going to bring that in here. We are going to die cut our pig. We're also going to die cut a couple other things. So I have some scraps here. I have Parakeet Party Black and Orchid Oasis. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the piggy dies. We're gonna die cut a wagon. Um, yeah, I just wanna keep everything here together. We are going to die cut a cute little banner on the orchid. We're also going to, um, yep, we're gonna die cut the little piggy scarf on here also. We've got the wheels for the wagon are going to go on black and I'm going to put the handle on black so that's easy to make it two different colors and I think that does it. So we're going to die cut all this stuff. Hang on. And here it comes. Look at it. It was just magic, right? <laughs> there comes our banner. Oops. And ooh, our wheels. Oh, I hope I didn't lose these wheels. That's going to make me really mad. Here's our handle and our wheels. I lost a wheel. Oh, no, that's not it. Hang on. Darn it. These little pieces kill me every time. Oh, here it is. Yay! <laughs> And my pig. Okay. Now, um, you want to put your wagon together. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. And then we're going to put our wheels on. Just like that. I cleaned up my office the other day, you guys. And it is still pretty clean. I'm, I'm very impressed with myself. And if my arm was a little longer, I would be patting myself on the back. But I am pretty impressed because it still looks really nice. I can't remember. Somebody stopped over the other day and I'm like, oh, you have to come see it. <laughs> I'm sure they were like just, you know, making me happy. And they're like, whatever. <laughs> okay. There we go. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't that cute? Love it. All right. Now we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. And I had my dimensionals someplace, so I would be able to find them right here. Don't worry. I got them right here. Now, what I found was the best way to put dimensionals on my wagon. Does anybody see my scissors? Um, yep, for there. Was to take and cut these edges. These edges are extra wide. And they're perfect for little things like this. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to put these. Notice how I use my take your pick tool. If you don't have one of these, this 
saves me so much frustration with trying to deal with these little type things with my fingernails because, oh, they're hateful, right? I'm going to take and put a mini dimensional on each wheel. And I've got one right there and one more little strip here like this. Whoops, something stuck to my finger, this did. Okay, that looks pretty good, right? All right, now we're gonna stick our little um, neck handkerchief scarfy deal. I don't know what to call this. My husband used to wear these because he was a pipe fitter and he did a lot of welding. And he always wore the bandanas around his neck to keep the sparks from going down his shirt and burning him when he was welding, right? Okay. Here it comes. Oh, we're going to take and we're going to do a little um, dissecting. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to cut around my little pig just like that. So I took the cake off my pig. Don't worry, we're still gonna use the cake. So you see how kind of jaggedy it is over here now? We're going to just touch that up a little bit. Doing surgery, that's a better way to say it, surgery. And I'm just gonna take this and round it like the other side, okay? So we're gonna put dimensional in the back of this. Oops, I got it kind of over to the side. Ah. Don't ruin your cake. Oh goodness, that was hard. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it right over here. And here comes our little banner. Just gonna add a little bit of glue. And we're gonna tuck that in right under here. Isn't it pretty? I love these colors together. Then we're gonna take our little pig. Our pig is gonna go in our wagon. And we're gonna put it in our wagon about right there. So, a little bit on that balloon. Put it up probably about that high, should work. Let's make sure before it gets set in its place. Yep, that looks good. All right, we're gonna do this. Get all of these off of here. Oh, it's getting really warm in here. I woke up this morning and Steve had the windows in the kitchen open. It's like 60 degrees here. I'm like, what are you doing? You know that I freeze until I have a hot flash. <laughs> and so I had my heater on in my, um, right below my desk today. I have a little space heater and I had that on most of the day. And now I'm really super hot where I'm sweating. Okay, so we're going to put this right in here. Our little piggy is taking a little ride in <laughs> the wagon. And then the other thing I want to show you guys, something really cute. Like this little bird is part of the die set. And then this is the banner. But I made a sign out of it. Now, I, I, I just thought it was too much to put on here. Like I would cut this off. I thought it was a little too much. It doesn't really fit, but... I wanted to share it with you because I thought it was a really, really cute idea. So, yeah. Connie says, I keep saying I don't need this set, but then you make this. And you're welcome, Connie. You knew you needed it. I don't even know why you try to resist. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to put our card front on our base. And I'm going to change back my glasses because those glasses are just for reading your guys' comments when you're on my phone. <gasps> Look at how super cute that is. Okay, now we need to do something with the inside, right? This is where I am going to grab my Orchid Oasis and oh, oh, I'm like, where why do I have a blank one in there? Oh, this fell off. Okay, we're gonna do happy. And what I noticed is that it's been super humid here in Wisconsin, so my ink pads are super juicy. And one thing that I will do with an ink pad when it's really juicy is I will, 
first of all, find a baby wipe. Hang on, I gotta clean up this. Um, I gotta clean up my gift card because I was using this earlier today, so it's got some ink on it. I will take my gift card and I will just push back some of that ink so that it's not so juicy because when it's super humid and we don't turn our air on, if you have your air on in your house, you're probably fine. But we don't turn our air on that often because we don't like air conditioning. Yep, now it's not as juicy. Otherwise, it's just got too much juice on it. I'm gonna put a three quarter inch piece of the designer paper over here. So I kind of want to lay this in place so I know where to put my sentiment on the inside. So I'm gonna do it right here. Ha! Oh, perfect. That couldn't have turned out any better. And this is that biggest wish set, you guys, with all, where did that go? All the sentiments. If you don't have this, you're really missing, you're missing out. This is a fabulous, fabulous stamp set. And it's got friend, thanks, hello in it, and happy and birthday. So um, I love doing the combinations with this with different colors. And I'm just gonna go like this. And we're gonna go happy birthday. I just love the way that looks. I think it's so pretty. So here comes our little banner and we use the plaid on this one so I'm going to do plaid on the inside here I just love putting that little bit of something on the inside right so it's straight that looks pretty good who sees my scissors right here turn it over and use this edge as a guide and we're going to get this in our card so that it's all oh, finished. Oops, there went my dimensionals on the floor. I don't know why my my um, comments disappear every once in a while. Like, I have to swipe my screen to get them back. <laughs> get away from me, <laughs> little hitchhiker. I got a little smudge right there. I think I've told you guys about my sticky kit. I have a sticky kit that has all our fantastic um, uh, adhesives in it but one of the things you get is the sand eraser and that's what I use if I get a little smudge on something or I could color and draw a candy corn here <laughs> just kidding that was genius Mary I have to tease you a little bit because obviously candy corn wouldn't look that great in this card right <laughs> So anyways, my sticky kit is available also in my online classes on my blog. Now, last but not least, let me get these all off of here and throw them right on the floor where they belong. <laughs> I did vacuum the other day and oh, it looks so nice. Now I'm going to, oh, you know what else I wanted to do? Hang on. Oh, I hope I don't wreck things. This is a little late to be doing this and it's a rather dangerous, but here's that little teeny weeny little butterfly. <gasps> I did it. Can I do another one without messing things up? <gasps> it's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Okay, so I did that. I'm going to color that in in just a second, but while we're letting that dry a little bit, I am going to add some of these iridescent jewels because I just think they're so pretty. These are my favorite new embellishment. And I just think they look good on almost anything. There's three different sizes on here. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Okay, now I'm going to go back and color my butterflies with the light Orchid Oasis. And I just think these are so cute. They're just the cutest little butterflies. <gasps> I did it. That was dangerous. I'm not going to lie. But here is our adorable little card. Yeah. Oh, and Barbara says the sticky kit is great. Thank you so much, Barbara. Woohoo! Um, Judy says the lines really make this card pop. I know, right? I think they're so neat. Like I said, one of our artisans made a card with a whole different stamp set doing the lines around the outside, and I thought it was just so cool. I just really liked that kind of whimsical look, right? So there's a, there's a couple more things that I want to show you here that I got ready. So hang tight, hang on to your horses because we're going to have a little bit of fun here. Okay. We are going to 
grab these two. So I wanted to use all three of these pigs to make like kind of a set of cards. Now I don't, I'm not gonna gift them to anybody because I think they're, I'm just gonna keep them. No, I'll send them out to people, but I'm not giving them as a gift. Just wanna be perfectly clear. But I've already colored the pigs in the same way that I colored this pig. So I already showed you guys that, right? So I wanted to have these kind of done and ready to go, but I wanted to show you what I'm gonna do with the rest of them. So we're gonna go on to this one. I've got a sweet sorbet. This is the light blend. And I'm just going to color my little flowers. I love this color. It's just kind of like, it's a very dark watermelony color. And I just think it's so very happy. And it's part of the in colors, the new ones. When they came out with these new in colors, I was like, Oh my Lord, I am in love. Happy, bright, cheerful, colorful, gorgeous. Okay, next I'm going to grab my light crumb cake and we're going to color this little dirt. So a few things about pigs, as long as I'm just coloring, you can watch me color, but this is kind of funny. Like I used to have a pig. Well, we raised, we had pigs when I was a kid. They were the kind of pigs that you sent to market and made bacon out of. Um, they were our pets and we would ride them and scratch their belly and they would lay on the ground and oh, they were just so wonderful. And the day that my mom had to put them on the, um, the truck that came to pick them up so we could have bacon, we all cried. It was terrible. My mom too. And we bought the pigs to raise them to eat. So we, we, we knew this in advance, but oh, we just loved them. So I always had kind of a fascination with pigs. So when I was an adult, I bought a pot-bellied pig. And oh, this is by the way, Parakeet, the light one. And I just loved her. Her name was Roxy. And did you know that pigs actually are very, very clean animals? It's always interesting what you learn. Okay, I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna color this one also. But pigs are very, very clean animals. They don't like to go in the dirt. They just don't have any sweat glands or whatever they're called. And so they have to go into the mud or water, which makes them piggy, so that they don't die of heat exhaustion. But um, pigs also have such a high squeal that their, their squeal is as loud as a jet engine in decibels. So I learned a lot about pigs when I had my pig. Her name was Roxy and I did love her. We had to um, get rid of her. We gave her to some other people that wanted a pig. We had to get rid of her when Haley was born. So that's how long ago it was because she was very, very possessive over me. Like she didn't like other people being around me. And I was very sure that she would kill my baby if given the opportunity. So I never put Haley down in her little car seat on the floor. Um, I just, and, and Roxy lived in the house. She was completely housebroken, just like a dog. But I would never put Haley down on the floor with her because I was sure she would kill her. And pigs can be quite vicious. But yeah, she would walk on a leash and she would sit and um, sit on her hind legs like a dog and beg for popcorn. She was just really quite adorable until she was possessive. <laughs> and I loved her. I loved her so much. I was so sad when I had to get rid of her. This is light, smoky slate. And I'm going to do this on the middle of my little tires. I love this little moped. Isn't it cute? So anyways, I know quite about quite a bit about pigs. Yeah, it's never good to name your bacon, Judy says. I know, right? Oh my gosh, you guys. Our pigs, when I was a kid, were named Skinny and Minnie. And oh my gosh, they were so fun. Like, they were just wonderful. We loved them. Oh, I don't even know if I have to color that. Maybe I do. Okay, um, and then my tires. Did you know that we have a dark black and a light black in our Stampin' Blends. And I oftentimes will use the light black because it leaves, when you use the dark black, you can't see anything. But when you use the lighter black, you can still see the artwork through it. Like I can still see the hash lines on these tires, okay? So it's not pitch black like the dark black. I like to use the light black one when I'm doing stuff like this. Okay, we're done. 
light gray go. I got to do this over here. So we got this. And then I took the sweet sorbet and I colored in some of these little deals. So yeah, we had skinny and mini. They were delicious too. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and then I had Roxy. My husband didn't really like Roxy because he, she didn't like him. She didn't like him because he took attention away from her. I told you she was very, very um, possessive, very jealous. Like he sat down on the couch by me one time and she jumped up on the couch and just screamed. And if you've ever heard a pig scream, it is. It's the decibel of a jet engine. She just sat there and screamed bloody murder until he got up. She did not want him sitting next to me. There were other funny things that she did too, but so he had no love loss for her at all. But I loved her. She was really sweet. <laughs> and they're very smart. Oh my gosh, pigs are so smart. But yeah, then I, I had to choose one or the other, baby or pig, and the baby won. Yep. As I would hope everybody's baby would win that contest. Okay, so here is this one. We've got this one. We've got this one. Now, there are dies that cut out both of these. And... Here's the one laying down, which I think is just so super cute. This cuts this one out. And then we've got this one that cuts this one out. Okay, so we're going to cut both of those out. Ah, just like magic. And then we are going to take some scraps and we're going to cut out some flowers. Okay, there's three different flowers here. So I've got those cut out already. Here's our little flowers. And then we've got um, a little present. This right here is a little present. And then there's also a little bow. Let me see if I can hold that up for you guys. A little bow. I don't know where my little bow went, but it's not. Oh, here it is right here. Look, we've used almost everything in here. Here's the little bow. There's also one for the little butterfly and the leaves and then like i said this is that um here's that paper this one right here does the confetti right here yeah pretty cool i, I really like these dies i think they're pretty neat okay so let me drop those back on there because we already oh shoot I got in there oh i'll fix this later right okay so those are in there all right now i've already made the other lines and stuff so I didn't have to do that and I put dimensionals on the back of this now this one says go to your happy place and stay there all day <laughs> and sometimes wouldn't we just love to do that my happy place I can sit would be like South Park I think or I like to go to my mom's house that's always really nice so I'm going to take this little piggy I'm going to put it right down here. <laughs> and then before we do anything else with these flowers, I've already got dimensionals on the back, but we're going to take that Wink of Stella and we're going to color. I'm going to hold that from the back. We're going to color our little flowers. This just puts a really pretty little glimmer on these flowers and it really does make a charming difference on your card. So I highly recommend you do this to like little elements especially because it just really is like, oh, that's neat. What a great idea. And oftentimes I forget and go, oh, I wish I would have thought of that. Okay, so here comes, I'm gonna put our flowers up here. And I got the hiccups, <laughs> so bear with me. That's a little embarrassing. <laughs> so there's our little flowers. I'm gonna put the um, iridescent gems right in the middle of my flowers. 
And then, as long as I was doing this, I thought, well, why not put a few more on my card? Because you get, this won't let go. You get a gazillion of them on a sheet. So why not just add a few more on here? One more, how about right down there? Okay, so here's the final finished card. And again, I did the same thing on the inside. I have my envelope flap done. Love, love, love this. So there's one with the different piggy. And then we've got this one. I wanted to show you what I did here. So we're going to take our pig that we have done here. Got all the dimensionals on it. Just throw those on the floor where they belong. <laughs> I, I went in the bathroom today and I looked in the mirror and I had the back. I had one of these backings in my hair. <laughs> like, oh, glad I didn't go out in public. Okay, so here's this one. Super duper cute. Now we have this little present and I'm going to put just a little dot of glue on my bow. And I'm going to put that right at the top of my present. And then we're gonna take our present and use a dimensional. Where's my big dimensionals? Oh, come on. Can I, can I, oh, they went on the floor. Here comes a dimensional on my little present. Yay. And I'm gonna put that, oops, right up here. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We are going to add a bunch of these because they're my favorite. And how about a couple more? Whoops, oh, it's just dangling by a little thread. Oh, come on, you little stinker. There we go, and one more. How cute is that? Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so. Here's our finished card. I put it on the um, Tahitian Tide. Isn't this just the cutest thing? Okay, so hang on. Here we go. Let's get this mess out of the way. I want to make clear my desk. I just go like this. Everything looks beautiful. <laughs> right? Where'd the red one go? Right there. Here we go, you guys. All of the little piggies from this birthday piggy and the playful piggy dies. Boom. I love these. I think they're just so sweet. Lots of great elements in here. And again, these are only available in September or while supplies last. So remember... I always, always appreciate your guys' orders. You can go right to my blog where you're going to find an online shop with Kelly or online ordering button. This is my current host code. If your order is under $150, please um, use that code. I also have an ordering special going on right now. When your order is over $75, I'm, I was sitting here trying to remember. When your order is over $75, from September 1st through the 20th, I am going to send you a package of the Leaf Label and Amber Gem Combo Pack as a gift for all orders over $75 by September 20th. So, woo! Holy cow! That was so fun, wasn't it? Oh, did you guys notice? So, I got a new watch band. And I really like it, except that this is my Apple Watch, and it doesn't stay like where it should. It's kind of weird. Have you seen these on? I saw them on Instagram and Facebook, but I really do like it. So if you've been thinking about getting one of these, because I like looked at them for a long time before I got one. They're about 40 bucks. I really do like them. They come in all different colors. And then I cut this one off because this was my size right here. Good grief. Let me see if I can get this open. Okay, there we go. 
And it just goes on like this. That's it's. This is what it looks like. Isn't that cool? So anyways, I like mine, except that it doesn't stay in place very good, but I think it's pretty neat looking. And you just put it back on like this. I shouldn't be selling these. I should get like an affiliate link. If you buy one, <laughs> I get a, I get something. But I really like it. So anyways, I thought, yeah. Um, yes, Jean, I did show my Happy Mail at the beginning. You'll have to go back and check out all the candy corn I got. <laughs> I'm so happy about it. I can't even tell you. Okay, I am going to download this to my computer in this video. I'm going to upload it to YouTube. And then my blog post will be available where you can, let's see if I can do this with one hand. You can um, get a free download. All three of these cards, the pictures will be in the free download. I'm only going to have the instructions and ingredients for the one that I made for you guys, this one right here. But all of these will be in here and I, you, you know that this is sweet sorbet, that's Tahitian Tide. But yeah, don't forget to get the free download. Thank you guys so much. I so appreciate all your kind comments. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up if you haven't yet. Click on that like button. Also share this video. That really helps me grow my business. And I so appreciate your help with that. And of course, you know, I always appreciate your orders. That's what pays my bills. So that's a good thing too. Oh, Jean had company tonight. Well, good for you. <laughs> That's cute. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Like I said, I will keep you posted if I'm going to be late next week. Um, I am headed up north hunting on Friday, coming home on Sunday, but we never know when we're going to be able to leave on Sunday. It just depends on how things go. So hunting can be very unpredictable. And uh, wish us luck. Woohoo! We're going to have a good time. We always do. I can't wait to spend the weekend with the babies and my mom and Haley. It's going to be a blast. So thank you guys so much. <laughs> Bye to Chef Steve. Oh, yeah. I, I wonder what he's going to make me for the rest of the week. He needs to get on that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Have a great week. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.